Hi everybody, Mature Simmer here. So welcome back to Rail Route. We're going ahead here playing on endless mode, uh, kind of treating it as if I was doing a live stream because we're just kind of watching things go, but they're not live streams at this point. Maybe, maybe in the future. I just don't know that that would be something that would make sense. So I'm going to start things moving here again. But one of the things I am going to do is I am going to now take the opportunity to buy a platform here and a platform there. And if I try to buy a platform somewhere else, I think it's going to give me... Oh, it did. Interesting. Well, I wasn't expecting that. All right, but it doesn't hurt to have some of those but I'm gonna hold off right now just to avoid something else but this gives me two additional places that trains can come in from all right we'll get this one whoops I gotta get off the buy is the problem uh, we're on Eindhoven 3 so we got two trains coming in quickly but now we have some additional things because, yeah, my confusion was that it lets us buy seven. I don't think, because these are auto blocks. So these shouldn't do much of anything. But let me buy that auto block. And then I'm going to hold off because, like, I could then go to Rotterdam and other things as well, just depending on how things work. So I'm trying to get more activity going on my on my uh, rail network, obviously. I think I'm going to work a little bit ahead here, though. I am going to go here, and I'm going to head up this way because I want to take advantage of the fact that I could potentially get um, two lines in. So I'm going to do, I'm going to connect these. Oops. All right, let's build. All right, I don't need that. And then, whoops. And then I want to go ahead and build. Let's see and go from here to here and go up here the other thing I can do is I can do these things and go there to there and then we've got some crossovers um, I think that makes some good sense okay because it's occupied right now because I've got a train coming through so we'll let that move ahead but we are getting a little bit low on funds as we've expanded this out so he needs to come in here he's gonna wanna head up go around so he's one of my roundabout commuters we've got my commuter on line 2 coming in shortly and that's the other thing we'll end up doing so I want to be careful on how all of these things interact because we're going to have stuff coming in. So let's see. Oh, I'm still not through there. So let me let him clear that line. We don't have anything coming in until the one on line two. So there we go. Now we're clear. Let's see if we've got anything. All right, that's an inner city. Can't really work. Venlo to Roostal to Maastricht. Hmm. I'm going to have to think that one through because there's no way to get to Roostal without stopping at Eindhoven. So there's going to be some delays there, but it definitely gives me a different route. 
So this is where things start to potentially get interesting. All right. So that gives me that connection right now. I definitely don't want to take that other contract. Let me turn him around. What is happening here? All right, hold on. Whoops. That's why. That's not good, because he's going to... Ah, he's going to have a problem, because I didn't reverse him in time. So, and I can't reverse... Like, I don't have a stop and a reverse feature, so he's going to get a penalty. So, that's not going to be good. All right, so now I can reverse him. I guess he didn't get a penalty, but he will, because he probably won't arrive in time now. So let's speed everything up here. But yeah, my challenge is going to be if I want to go to Maastricht over there, I'm going to want to be able to turn on to the segment. So I need this segment clear. I don't have enough money, so at this point I'll just keep going. All right, he needs to go through to platform three. And once he comes through, I'll have 2,000. And I can start thinking about potentially grabbing that one. Well, but I can't because I need to build so much track. So never mind, i got to wait for that one, but I may hold on to it. All right, so I got delayed a little bit. I didn't get the full 2,000. I got 1950. All right, so he's coming in here, and then he's going up this way, and then he will go that way eventually. So yeah, so in the long term, I think this one could be one to look at but right now like I've got the down to Maastricht but I cannot do anything other than that so again now this should go I can route him to there I probably should put a signal on the other way but I'm half tempted to like let auto signals go at some point all right so this will get me back to Venlo. He's going to go through there, and then he's going to come back. So he's got to be reversed up there. That's the situation we've got. So we're going to move along a little quicker here. So we've got some activity. And, yeah, I don't think I got the experience point for that train either, was the other piece. Okay, so Herlin to Nimjin to Herlin, but it's only 4,000. Wow, and this needs a target speed, though, of 65. You know what? I probably need to decline this for now. As much as I'd like to think I could do that... Uh, the 40 mile an hour things, I, I'm gonna end up, that's gonna end up being like a $2,000 job. So, that's not gonna work. What I probably want to do now though, however, is unlock some freights. So let's see, he goes here. Now, where's he going? Whoops, oh, I forgot to reverse him. Darn it. Alright. So he's going there. He gets reversed. Hopefully it won't be too terribly late. Let's see how all that plays out. So I messed that one up. So yeah, Herlin. Yeah, the, the target speed is far too high. This is my problem right now. Alright, so I made more money. 12,400 because of the extra contracts and so forth. So now he'll go through. 
Alright, he's on time, so I think I'm going to be okay there. And then he comes through to there. That icon helps me see that is what is going to be happening. But I've got 4,000. But what I'm going to do as well... Okay, that's an inner city. I'm going to go to the upgrades, and I'm going to go ahead and get freights. Because I think that will help at this point. Because my hope is, now that I have a couple things coming in, that I can do things that I couldn't do before. The biggest challenge we're going to have with freights, however, is freights usually want to sit somewhere for a while. Which means I'm going to need platforms that I'm not using that I can put them on. And I don't know that I'm going to have that. Alright. So we got that. And now we can clear this. Get him back to Venlo. And this will now continue to make me some money. So we'll move this up. So there we go. We got 3,000 from that. But what this starts to let me do now is... You know what? I think I want to go here and here. Hmm. It's kind of sloppy. Venlo to Roostal. Again, it's the speed. So we've got trains coming in. But at this point, now that we have freights, freights will also let us get the red experience, which then puts us in a great spot for other things. All right, so we're going to have a train coming in at 12 here. So he wants to go here, and he's my roundabout. And then I think we're going to have the roundabout going the other way. Correct. So, like, these two are the ones I absolutely want to avoid, or I, I need to get them off my network at some point. So I'm trying to think. If I have something coming from here, I can get to either Hairline or Maastricht this way. If I have something coming here, I could also go the other way. So this works. I technically don't need this, so I could bulldoze this segment. That gives me some money back because I don't think I need that right now. Definitely don't want that for a thousand. Wow. That's pretty bad. So yeah, we're just waiting for our first freight to show up and see what that turns into. Another commuter. Alright, so that's Maastricht to Herguten, 4,000. If I can get that for 6 or 7, that might be worth looking at. Because then I can just go from here up. It's just it's going to have to stop at Eindhoven. You know, and pretty soon we'll be able to get to the point. You know, the next thing might be looking to try to get faster track is going to be probably something that's going to work well. So we'll pull him here. And then we want him on Eindhoven 2. And this one goes to Eindhoven 3. So that's where they pass each other. All right, in the inner city, we're still not getting any freights. I do have that unlocked. So what I want to look at, though, is you know, the coach yard, more contract offers. Where do I get the track elements? I forget. There, there they are. Okay, so I need one red and ten, and then I can increase my speed. So that really probably needs to be my target for the next thing I do. 
So that's going to take a little bit of effort, but we might be able to get there here, depending on what's going on. Again, if I get, here we go, now we have a freight. But see, this goes Venlo to Visquin to Antwerp, and like, like that that's a lot. Like, I don't have enough track, so I'm not going to hold on to that. All right, so this is now going to go here to here to here, and then again we route him back here to here. We can actually go really fast for these for now. If we get a couple contracts, maybe we'll stop. So again, yeah, we don't want a commuter with a new platform. If I load a roost, I'll see, wouldn't be too bad. But see, but you can see, like, it sits then in Rusendal for all that time. So I might hold on to that. But again, see, I've got Zen Zenivar here. Where is Zenivar? So there. So I'd like have to. Like, I don't have enough money to build all this track. Even to Rusendal, I, I think I'm out of luck. But see, that's like, you make a lot of money that way. So, I mean, I really need a, a freight to show up that basically is going to let me kind of do some crazy stuff here. But, all right, and then he's going to Venlo 1. So he ultimately comes through there. There we go. I think it would work as long as it wasn't blocked, but sometimes the segments don't play nice. So, all right. So, Rustal to Venlo. Oh boy. All right. So, to get to Rustal, because the thing is, freights only need. 15. I guess let me start building my track and see if I go here to here and then here. Oh, I can make it. Okay, so because again, if it sits out there, that's okay. So I need to wait on these though a little bit. Um, Because I need to get those other things clear. But like I can only take one of those, so I should probably look at this. Let's see. We've got 10,000, 11,000. Um, I'm going to decline this one and decline that one. Alright, so he needs to come here, and he'll go through there. See, and that's the thing, like when he's sitting here, like the freight can go by, but definitely, yeah, see, I don't have any money for signals, so I'm really playing a game here. Like, I can run the freight through there. Yeah, I'm not sure that I want to do it then. I just don't know if I can get there later or not. So I'm gonna have to watch because like he's gonna come through here and he is going to Nimjin. Like he's going around. Yeah, see, and, and this one needs to come back to Venlo. I'm just not sure. I don't remember how these contracts work. So what my concern is, is, is this time movable, this 1209? You know, because at this point, like, I'm supposed to have passed here at 11. Like, it's moving. Well, I guess it's changing the contract, so it might actually work. So before I try to shoehorn something in somewhere I can't, let me wait until I have some clearance. Because basically I need to get through here in time. 
and then I'll have some money to put signals in in a little bit. He's reversed. He's good. He's going to be coming in to Eindhoven 3. See, because this other one... Oh, boy. Do I want to put him on? Maybe I'll put him on, like right after that. So let me, let me try that. I just feel I can run this freight. And if I can run the freight line and get the red point, that would be really good. Because now I'm going to have my other one coming through. So yeah, he can go there, and we're going to have him coming through on two, and then he wants to go up here, but like he's just going up here. My freight is going to come down a different way, or come back through here a different way. So let me get him out of the way. So I think this will work, but I'm not sure yet. So I can move him there, move him there. And now at this point, what I will do is I'm going to accept this freight so it's a one-off contract. You dispatch one train on a predefined schedule. So I'm going to put him on two. And then he can sit and wait. And he just needs to be to Rusendal by 1220. But what that allows me to do is I can kind of let things go. So I can wait until this one goes by. Now I have to be careful here because I got got a few things going on. But I can let him go by. And so he can sit. Because at this point, you know, the freight train just wants to go. But he doesn't need to go is the difference. So like now I'm okay. And I can run him through here and then run him through here and here and that will work okay so now I need to reverse him because that's what I had forgotten to do last time and that did not work well now the freight should not stop at Eindhoven I'm not sure if it will that's one of the things I haven't looked at for a while. Okay, so this one needs to go here. And so the trick is, yes, is the freight going to get through there? Which it is, so that's good. Because the key here is now this... Whoops, I see. So I, I have this set wrong. So this has to go there. So this should all work out nicely. And then, so now he's going into those auto blocks. So you can see he kind of disappeared. Oh, he's going to Venlo 2 because that's the one I had done before. So at least you can hit those switches even though you can't see them. Okay, that's too fast. That's too fast. And that... It's too little money. So let's clear those out. And then hopefully we can just run this through and maybe get this freight turned around and, and brought back. So the question is, is it going to be there? See, it's not... Wait, that's not... Why is this not showing up? All right. So I'm going to want this to go along here but I'm not sure why it's not letting me pick the freight and, and show me what the freight it has going on 
But I can flip that back. That'll get that ready. Nothing else will be coming out. All right, no inner city. Yeah, see, so like I can take these later because they'll they'll work and they're just one time. Well, now these actually do repeat. Um, so I guess I have to be careful, but I, I don't want to do that until I get my line sped up. Alright, so, so now you can see it's going to sit there at Rusendal for, um, for 30 minutes. Now why can I not, oh, I guess, I don't know why it wouldn't let me reverse, but it wouldn't. Because normally you can just right click on it and reverse. But that'll sit there. So I got that. I got the money. And now this is showing me, like, see, in 97 minutes or so, I have to get this train out of there. Ooh, this will be interesting because sometimes when the trains go backwards, they can't go as fast. So that might be a problem. But I guess we'll see how this all pans out. Because right now I've got 25 minutes. I've got a few trains coming through here. So he goes to Venlo 1. He's heading up around this way and this way. And yes, the question is, as he comes around, is he going to block the freight train in some way? Hopefully not. But we'll move this along. Because, you know, we're still at 91 minutes, so... Like, we're good. Oops. So, yeah, if I go to my overview, I've got 20 minutes till that thing gets released. So, I've got this one coming up here. I should be in decent shape for getting everything through. All right, so he's coming through here. And now this is my issue, is I've got these loops going on. Hmm. <laughs> I should be all right, though. I think they're going to clear out. So he's going to come down to Eindhoven three yes because again like I can hold him there if I need to so like what I'm hoping for is that I don't have another set of trains coming in because I think I have that same repeat shortly there that is what could start suddenly being a problem so now this one's going to go here, this one's going to go here. Just want to make sure, right, and then he goes here, here, and here. And he goes all the way through to Venlo 1 in 6 minutes. And the other one is leaving in 13, so I guess we're going to see how this all plays out. So I am going to let this go a little bit longer than I've been doing with trying to keep the episodes to half an hour, but it shouldn't take much longer to do this anyway. So as you can see, um, you know, we're down to six minutes. Nothing's coming for a period of time. He's going back to Venlo 1, so I just need to do that. So we'll run him through there, and in a very quick period of time. All right, so that one's at the station, so yeah, he's leaving 
right after that. So again, like I this would unlock whoops, shoot. Uh, what am I doing here? All right. So he's going through to here. I can run him through potentially. Now is he going 40? That's my question. Like what speed is he? Okay, so he's going 30. So this actually might not be too bad because that's the issue. Yeah, when the control unit's not in front, um, you go substantially slower. But this one just goes in and out. So yes, I can run him through there. So the challenge I'm going to have is if... Um, whoops. There we go. All right, is if this train needs to go back, but I probably am better off holding the other one. So let's just see how everything goes. We don't have anything coming in. Well, we do on Route 2, but like he can go anywhere he wants when he comes through. Again, he because he's still got over an hour, so I could hold him here. Now this one needs to reverse, and he's got what 22 seconds, so definitely he's gonna go first because the freight's not even close at that point. So I think this is gonna work out nicely. Now this one is going to go where? Why can I... I don't understand why I cannot click on my other trains. There's a little bit of a, like an interface bug or something going on. Maastricht and Nimjin to Venlo for a commuter. I'll have to look at that one. I'm going to worry about that one next time. And this is a freight. Okay, I don't have that platform I'm certainly not or that station I'm certainly not doing that in between all right so now once that's clear like I can do this because this one goes yeah that one goes up so this should be okay because now we're clear He'll get through, and if he has to hold there, that's okay. He's going to go around to... Goodness gracious. I don't understand what is happening and why it's not showing me things. All right. You need to come through here and go up this way. So that will work. All right, they're going to Eindhoven 3. So I need to open that up. That will work. So we're going to have him wait, because obviously um, we're not going to slow the commuter down for the freight when the freight still has plenty of time. So yeah, at this point I could I could just run the freight through which I'm gonna do because this still has to wait um, this will go here and again then it will go around there as well to or no it just goes there and then reverses so we will get this freight out of here and then um, we will wait after that so commuter 7525, so he's going to come through to there, because the only difference could be like that he won't be clear, but I think we'll be okay. So there we go. We got 11,000, and we got the piece we needed. And so what that will let me do 
at this point is I can upgrade my tracks and I will do that and that will be the last thing we do I don't want the commuter I don't want that one and I was holding that one but at this point I'm gonna stop here and we're gonna call this an episode I know it went a little bit long but hopefully it was exciting enough to see all this play out so we got a freight point you saw a freight train run in and out um, yeah we're starting to get some things moving here so this is good um, but it's gonna give us some options because now you know I've also got cash so I can start upgrading some of my rails um, I think I'm gonna go with that inner loop first because obviously the other legs are nice but we're gonna start upgrading those to 80 and then once I have that I can start taking some other contracts and getting some significant amounts of cash and then we can start dropping the slow contracts that are only making us 2000 but with that um, you know, before I go, just the general housekeeping. Certainly, if you haven't liked the video till now, I'd appreciate it if you would. And if you are not a subscriber, I'd encourage you to do so, so you can keep up with what's going on on the channel. And it obviously helps the channel grow. Um, I'm pushing through to the 1,000 subscriber point, and would love to get there with your help. But I will see you next time.